look at 15a. It says a city has a population, um, a 2010 population size of 75,000 is growing at 2.4%. Estimate the year in which the population will double in size to 150,000. Compare this with the answer obtained from the rule of 70. So this is um, a different example in which we're again using the exponential growth rate model, but in this case we're solving for t, which is going to involve logs. So let's write down what we know. We know our initial population is 75,000. We know our ending population is 150,000. We know our growth rate is 2.4%, which has a decimal is 0 0.024. And time is what we're solving for. So let me show you how to do this. Let's go back over here and plug in our values. So I have 150,000 equals 75,000. 1 plus 0 0.024 raised to the t power. Okay, inside the parentheses I can add 1 plus 0 0.024. And you get 1.024. And now be careful, exponent comes before multiplication, so you cannot multiply the 75,000 times the 1.024. This t would need to come first, which you can't do. So we need to get rid of the 75,000. So I'm going to divide both sides by 75,000. And um, you get 2, which makes sense because you're looking at when the population will double in size. So this should be 2. 2 equals 1.024 raised to the t power. OK, so whenever you're solving for an exponent, like we are here, the only way to solve for an exponent uh, in this example is we're going to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take the log of 2 equals the log of 1.024 raised to the t power. The reason this works is the, power, the property of log says this exponent can come out in front. So you could have written that right away if you wanted, but I just wanted to show you this step. So the t comes out in front, and then you have log of 1.024. And you can now get t by itself by dividing both sides by this log of 1.024. And you can solve for t. Now the one thing that you have to be careful about when you put this into your calculator is make sure if your calculator gives you, for example, a let me do this in a color. Let's say your calculator gives you, you put in log and you get a parentheses. Make sure you end that parentheses after the 2. Otherwise, it'll divide this 2 by this. So you need to end the parentheses and then put in the log of 1.024. So you should practice that on your calculator and make sure you get then that t equals about 29.23 years. Okay, it then says compare this answer you got of a little over 29 years to um, the rule of 70. And the rule of 70 says that your time is approximately, when you're looking at um, doubling, equal to 70, that's why it's called the rule of 70, divided by your rate written as a percent, not a decimal, so 2.4. And when you do this on your calculator, you get about 29.17. So and that's years. So look, these are very close. They're only off by a little bit. So make sure you, you know, write that, that the answers are very close or very similar.